So what do two pieces of toy train track have to do with data visualization? Let me explain. So circular shapes are sort of problematic when it comes to data visualization for a variety of reasons. So for instance, humans have a really hard time judging the specific different sizes of these two wedges, for instance. We're just bad at making that judgment. We're also bad at radar charts judging the distance points are from the central hub and especially judging how much bigger or smaller the distance is when you're comparing two points, especially like if they're across from each other, we're just bad at it. So circular shapes have problems when it comes to data visualization for a variety of reasons. But in particular, if you're thinking about donut charts, they pose their own special challenge, which is largely related to an optical illusion called the Jastro illusion, which I'm going to demonstrate with these two pieces of toy train track. So let me come over here, and I'm just going to put these pieces of toy train track down. I'm going to turn you over so you can see what I'm looking at here. And so you can see two pieces of track. One is clearly smaller, one is clearly larger, right? If you were to take the smaller one out and try to fit it into a smaller spot in your train track, you know what? It's not going to fit. I promise you. I've done it before. I felt stupid as a parent. I would grab this one, try to put it in the smaller spot. It wouldn't fit. I'd get frustrated, and I'd feel like an idiot. The reason, of course, I'm sure you've all caught on by now, is if I take this one and put it directly on top of that one, as you can see, you know what? They're the exact same piece of track. Yes, this is the Jastro illusion. The outer arc is always going to look much smaller than the inner arc. So this is good to know, right? Next time you're tempted to make a double donut chart, you might want to think twice, right? And that's not the only issue with donut charts, but it's a really important one. So keep this in mind the next time you're trying to make a chart.